kind of be getting the Yoshi Ditto. Yep, there it is. Oh uh, yeah. Slade and PC Ninja, red and blue. One, and I have one. There it is. <laughs> the same taunt too. Love to see it. Now, I've been watching just a little bit too much of the meta down in Long Island, and down there, you know, they have plenty of Yoshis to watch. You have. Suarez, you have, I haven't seen Raptor, but there's definitely been um, more than a few Yoshis in that get cow and all using the same color. I think they were just talking about how, you know, the only Yoshi color that they don't have is actually yellow. That's very crazy. Um, but anyways. An there's an MDVA Yoshi that plays a yellow Yoshi. Oh, that's interesting. Um, but for sure, um, definitely going to see, you know, which player actually has the most, you know, experience playing against each other in the ditto now definitely i would ex i would kind of expect you know you as a character to kind of know what your character can do honestly not too many people know what to do against their own character so for sure definitely want to see who has the most experience in the ditto yeah i i mean it feels constantly regardless of character that <laughs> the ditto can just be a struggle I mean, consider one of Yoshi's best tools is the fact that he can play out of shield super well and his double jump armor makes aggression hard. Well, Yoshi thrives on being overly aggressive, but you can't do that necessarily for edge guarding and your pressure on shield can oh, get beat out by that frame three nair. So anti-airs like we saw Slade do on that first stop or uh, trying, to, uh, <laughs> trying to get these clean uh, these clean backers to come out as we see PC Ninja start to go for but it'll be moments and moves like those that'll turn the tide one way or another. As yet, yeah, up smash on the same platform, uh, PC Ninja says, yeah, whatever you can do, I can do better, and we have ourselves an even game going forward. Oh, absolutely. Definitely love seeing what they're doing here. You know, for the most part, um, from what I've seen, you know, most of these tend to either, it's very polarizing how most of these people play. They either um, tend to kind of just take it very slow considering, you know, how most of them know that, wow, if this is kind of the tool that I need, um, the tool being Nair, you know, I'm kind of just going to wait for you to actually use that move, and then I'll actually just punish you off of that. Um, but this is kind of the exact opposite from these players, not really, you know, kind of using that threatening Nair tool since most of the time out of shield, that's something that, you know, Yoshi can use extremely well. I love how both of them are moving right now. These, the wavelengths, the dashes back and forth. This is footsies at its finest, and they're always just just out of range for anything more. Slade is playing with this lead so well, and even the down B as a combo breaker. All right, and the holes are all right. We love to see it here. Slade making full, fully certain that if whatever one or two hits he gets they count for so much. Meanwhile, PC Ninja's combo game has been pretty solid, but just hasn't found many starters and hasn't found many moments to actually use it. Instead, just kind of resigned to an egg and nair game plan that Slade looks very, very comfortable in. Solid start, but the quick disengage, not, not trying to deal with the double jump armor, instead just throwing out these eggs, making PC Ninja respect the command grab so he's not approaching with shield. There's... Some good stuff coming out from Slade's part, and he's looking to wrap this up. What can I go ahead? And oh, wow, oh, that could have that could have spelt a very terrible time for um, you know, um, PC Ninja because they actually used their air dodge off stage. Um, but for sure, and definitely coming in there, seeing how good Yoshi's shield can be because Yoshi's shield is probably. One of the strongest, well, actually, no, I think it is the strongest shield in this game, if I remember correctly, has the ability to um, not really get poked out by a lot of tools. Yeah, it's it's a tough move to, uh, it's a tough uh, egg to crack, but that's where the command grab starts, uh, the Yoshi Tong, the egg lay, starts to really uh, rear its ugly head. Oh, okay. Speaking of uh, kind of an ugly spot, he looks like it was a... Uh, he had used his jump prior, but the falling up air will absolutely close that game out. Surprising I mean... to see the uh, surprising to see 
Slave come down with such a uh, a brazen option, even like, I mean after this SD, but he hadn't been landing on shield with much throughout the throughout the game. But I guess that's where the tempo mix up, that's where the timing all comes into play. And um, you know, Yoshi's up, Yoshi's up there is pretty safe. So hey, it was I definitely mean, strong to take that game one for sure. I mean, you know, Slave kind of definitely did one head first into the blossom, but they just went head first into that tail to you know kind of take that sec um that first game. Um, for sure, definitely good coming in from Slade. Now, I'm definitely interested to see how this next game is going to go because honestly, you know, as much as I don't really like this character in this game, I think Yoshi, even though they've been bad in other games, I don't know, I just, I would like to see them um, be, I guess, how do you say, colorful some more. They really got rid of our, our favorite um, Yoshi skin from Smash 4. Very sad. Yeah, now he's tennis ball Yoshi. Tennis ball Yoshi? That's so crazy. Uh, I think that's what they replaced with the black Yoshi skin for, yeah. If I remember correctly, that's um, the skin that Miles uses with the Yoshis from New York. Yeah, oh my god, there's so many Yoshis. <laughs> <laughs> Yoshi? I'm telling you, Yoshi is such a cute character. Please, stop. Hey, no. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god, don't treat my children like that. These these little dinosaurs are my children. They're honestly they're, You know what? This is They're not monsters, discussion. stop. They no. are. But it's a discussion for another time. Anyways, <laughs> getting into the second game, making it very even, getting a little bit more of these footsies getting in for you guys today, and just barely missing that up smash. Um, definitely don't think it would have done much. Um, I think it would have killed, but I'm um, for sure. Just wow, getting that nice back air. I'm um, sending um, Slade back off stage. Oh, and and the air read that was so good. Just really noticing how floaty Slade liked to be in his recoveries and punishing it super hard after the air dodge. Now we get to see uh, the shoe fit the other foot with. Uh, with PC Ninja having the lead at the start of this game too, but I mean, maybe not if Slade has anything to say about it. The positioning has been pretty good. Um, before that up tilt, he was playing super well around the, the snowball options and the combo starters that uh, PC Ninja was starting to throw out, but not anymore. A quick 43 and now climbing. Real climbing. Oh, that down air is so much damage on the board. It's from 40 to 70, just like it's nothing. I mean, for sure. I think if I remember from last week, I think it was actually Slate who definitely made um, a lot of use out of um, Battlefield as a stage. I could be wrong there. I'm not entirely sure if I remember or not. But um, definitely just seeing how it fits on the other um, you know, side of the Yoshi existence. But gonna get that first stock with a very hefty lead in 4PC Ninja. And yeah, honestly, it's just gonna be a very hard time for Slate to actually kind of make this comeback if it is possible. Certainly, certainly so. But some solid overshoots on PC Ninja's part will keep him, will keep him at bay. Oh, that Nair immediately catching the neutral get up and the close there. All right, just reminiscent of game one, but yeah, just in, in reverse. This is, dinners are so weird. Like they, they're so weird to watch and see how they unfold because the counters just, it seems like they're forced to find use out of their like, their B and C tier options to, to coin it in, in such a light. Like they're, they're not really fully throwing out some of the stuff that really makes Yoshi uh, look crazy, but instead fully but fully having to embrace just the, the spacing of things like up tilt and fair, which phenomenal moves in their own right, but you don't see the infamy that makes Yoshi uh, Yoshi in a lot of ways. I mean, that's the first you, SBT for the sub. And actually, finally getting that down B. They've actually missed a lot of their um, down B attempt. A lot of the times they attempted, they definitely did miss it. So definitely, I'm um, trying to see a little bit more 
better um, timing for those moves because I feel like they definitely could have used it in that in a lot of spots that they did actually try to use it. It was just badly mistimed for sure. And actually trying to get a little bit more into the um, movement with uh, Battlefield, just not really you know making too much of a use of it just entirely yet. Yeah, the, the Yoshi Bomb yet again uh, comes down. You gotta be careful if you're PC Ninja playing on ledge like this. One fair can close out your uh, your entire dreams of a game three. This is getting it's getting closer by the minute. Just now, now we're starting to see the pace of the game slow down a little bit. Egg for egg, tip for tat. A good command grab on on the on Slade's part. The spacing on fair was just not enough to come out with a uh, to try and catch the roll. A couple grabs and there is the punish. So true punish out of shield. Saw one Yoshi bomb for the other. Boom, tip for tap. Boom for bang. And now we go to game three. Absolutely. Now I was actually just about to mention that I haven't actually seen both of these players actually use any of their like more confirms um like jab two down b as we just saw there um and i was just you know kind of looking at like how they actually um try to kind of get most of their kills i know um slade actually went for i think it was either i'm not sure which one actually went for the egg lay but one of them went for the egg lay and they didn't actually get too much off of it um so definitely interested to see if they can actually make a little bit more of adjustments to that because honestly, you know, granted when you get the egg lay, you don't have to do anything immediately just because, you know, you're not entirely sure whether people want to mash immediately or actually just wait until the whole entire thing is, you know, over before they actually do anything. Um, but for sure, definitely getting into this last game, you know, both of these players needed to, um, you know, adapt in some semblance, but already almost taking that first stock with that fair, but actually missing it. Um, so just kind of setting neutral right back up, not really trying to kind of push anything too hard yet. Um, you know, they don't want to do too much and kind of just be very aggressive entirely just yet because they kind of want to stay in neutral, especially during this last game. Oh, the down B armor will get him back to the ground, but after such a strong start, like, I guess starts really don't matter in a, in a, uh, in Dittos because so much damage can come up or comparable damage output is on, uh, on both sides of the ball. It's whoever takes that first stock, especially given how much, how much, uh, Yoshi can struggle with trying to find his way in. Uh, as of, compared to just keeping his opponents out, and I love these wave dashes that are coming uh, coming out from Slade's part. He's just really making full use of the extra space that it gives him, but almost getting uh, just no yield, I guess, with the uh, with the Yoshi bomb. Okay, this is this is getting mighty tense. I mean, this is why we go to PS2 stages uh, stages mighty wide. The blast zones are certainly favorable as long as you play in center, but. Mm -hmm. but yes, definitely for Fires sure. Uh, definitely need to start. This is definitely where um scouting out each other's you know bad habits are definitely going to be most important and actually going to get that back air now. Um, just kind of getting into this next stock, you know, just already taking on a little bit of extra credit that they need, you know, that they actually kind of need to kind of make the stock, but actually not going to get that because they are going to take that um, second stop, or first stop, third stop, anyways. But yeah, <laughs> um, for sure. Uh, and F tilt's a strong start, but it's spots like these that, man, it looks like Slade just has the right idea, but is just slightly missing his execution with some of these punishes and ends up uh, netting far less damage than PC Ninja in so many of his openings, but I mean, this is kind of why the lead is so important in Dittos, and the lead is so important in Smash Ultimate in general. Because uh, approach options are... Uh, approach options are safe, but can be a whole lot... Uh, some characters can be very, very hard to approach, and Yoshi is one of them, but without his jump, I'm surprised to see him give up that juggle situation so quickly. But here we go again. Does he find it? No, the air dodge was just so perfectly timed. 
solid grab on PC Ninja's part. He's trying. To, both of them, it looks like they're they're hunting for up tilts. They're looking for those kills. The Nair will do it. He still has his jump though. Reverse up smash. I, I'm telling you, I think Yoshi's up smash. It's got a sour spot, but it's not real. <laughs> But yeah, this is definitely going to be, wow, taking that last lock, this is definitely a very even game. You know, all they kind of need is just one very good um, semblance of advantage and just kind of take this game, to, or to be able to take this game and just kind of control the pace of this last game. A quick 55 on Slade's part. Finally, it's first lead since the opening uh, opening minutes. Good pivot grab, okay, we're gonna see him start to really swing. No jump, but the egg, the egg covers him from finding the air dodge, just the perfect angle on it, and uh, PG Ninja, another lease on life. But will he have a chance to catch Slade, who seems to be really trying to mix right now? We saw the startup of a Yoshi Bomb after a jab, and okay, pivot up tilts as well. A lot of... There's a lot of strong stuff coming out from Slade's part, but none of it really properly connecting. And the more time you wait, the more time PC Ninja has a chance to bring this back. 140, that's a lot of rage. The star, the stars, just... Uh, the stars really aligning for PC Ninja as he slowly but steadily burns his way back. I mean, you're exactly right on combat stage screen. Yoshi or Yoshi just basically tied right now. 30% differential isn't isn't all that much, especially when they're both at heavy kill percent. I mean, just looking for the one thing that can actually take this game, this is definitely getting very close um, for sure. It's getting super, super tense. Oh, no. But he still had his jump, but it went unpunished, and he could nair out a shield perfectly fine. The chase, but nothing. The whiffs, the ever so slight whiffs. That grab won't do it. Yoshi's throws won't kill until significantly later, probably around now, even. Do we see a Yoshi bomb come down? No, the air dodge. It looks like the backer. Oh my god, living at 140 plus for so long and whittling his way forward. Nickels Absolutely. and dimes eventually make a dollar as PC Ninja closes out the set and their ticket into top eight. Look at that. They got hit with the very tip of that tail. The very, the very, very tip of that oh, tail. That's so crazy. So far away. He, I mean, he dashed in. He saw the back air and said, I want to punish that. Even if it's just with dash attack, I want to get out of this corner and did not respect the, his own hitboxes. Hey, that can be, that can be kind of a trouble. Yeah, there we go. There's that, that back there again. Just so, so crazy. And that's a huge set for PC Ninja to make their way into top eight once again. Repping that Grunt Gang tag. It'll oh, be, absolutely. He'll be playing against Jonathan G in winner's semis. But first, we got to check out who's going to be the, our final winner side top eight representative. We're going to have Teapot and Azazel coming Ooh. back on stream. Absolutely. You know, I love me some, some ZSS. ZSS, very much love that character. I don't think people know much about my love for ZSS, even though I've never actually played her games. I just really think she's cool. Stop. <laughs> hey. Metroid Zero Mission. 